Ever since the Crowfall Kickstarter, uh, people have been asking me about the game's user interface. And uh, up until now, we really haven't shown much uh, officially. So I'm really excited because this is the first time that anyone's going to be able to see the combat interface running in game for the first time. Uh, but not only that, um, before we get there, uh, I'm going to walk you through the earliest designs uh, that I was putting together during the Kickstarter and how it's evolved from the Kickstarter to the prototyping stage uh, all the way through what you're going to see in this summer's uh, pre-alpha release. So enjoy! During the Crowfall Kickstarter campaign, I began to experiment with a number of user interface designs. Using Adobe Illustrator, I came out with an initial layout uh, where I used only simple uh, shapes and colors and fonts just to get an overall sense of all of my screen elements um, that I was going to focus on. And once I get that first draft done, that's when I can kind of switch gears and focus on making things a little bit prettier, making things read a little bit better, uh, and kind of do balancing between the elements. Uh, it's also at this time that I start to play around with uh, new ideas based on some of the gameplay design feedback. Uh, and some of those ideas uh, get cut from iteration to iteration. Uh, some of those ideas get to persist. So uh, from there, I, I switch gears um, to coming up with a number of layouts for the hero unit frame, uh, arguably one of the most important on-screen elements. This is where the user gets all of their core information uh, for their character. Uh, so, especially in a combat-heavy game, it's, it's, it's a very important element. So, I um, came up with a few versions of that. And so, once Kickstarter wrapped, uh, our next big priority was actually just to get a prototype functional UI up and running inside of Unity. So, um, I actually basically stopped focusing on aesthetics for, for a while to only focus on coming up with a set of graphics that could uh, be used and repurposed in a number of ways to just make a functional UI as quickly as possible. Um, so what we're looking at here is inside of Unity itself, uh, the tools are so great. They let uh, artists and designers basically set up all of the core uh, functionality of, of the user interface uh, without having to do any hardcore scripting or coding. Um, so I can put together fill bars, I can put together layout groups and um, cooldown meters, etc. Uh, all from the Unity interface, which is really nice. Another huge benefit of getting things into Unity uh, for rapid prototyping and iteration is that you know any of the elements that you put together, you can swap textures on the fly and and just quickly get that real-time feedback to know whether or not your layout's going in the right direction or not. So um, my process always starts with Adobe Illustrator, uh, but as soon as I can get my work into Unity, I actually find that I'm working even faster and, and um, more importantly, I'm, I'm getting the real deal final product uh, in my hands as fast as possible, which is incredibly powerful. Um, so while these assets are very generic, uh, you can see how easily it is to just quickly change colors and shapes, um, which when you're prototyping things and you just need some real time feedback from the gameplay, it's a very, very, uh, intelligent approach. Once the UI functionality was where we wanted it to be, I was able to switch my focus back onto the aesthetics for the UI. Um, and it's here that I was able to finally bring together uh, the aesthetic that I had been working towards since the beginning. Uh, I wanted to keep everything very, very minimal uh, and very graphic. Uh, and I think we struck just the right balance between um, the flatness and the texture uh, to put together something that feels really nice and finished. Um, and so once those graphics were complete, I re-import them into Unity. And then piece by piece, I take that prototype UI and I swap all the textures uh, one by one to match the new aesthetic. And from there, any new elements that have to come online uh, are very, very easy because I take my existing kind of palette and then just kind of build upon that. 
and with the click of a button, we can see what it looks like in the game. Uh, and, and while our interface design isn't wildly different from other MMOs, um, what should be pretty clear is, is our clean and simple approach to it. Um, for us, it's, it's more important that you pay attention to the game in front of you and not all the UI around it. So user interface elements will appear when you need them and then they'll disappear when you don't need them. Uh, and what we're about to see right now is an extra feature when you push the alt button, you switch modes. So you go from aiming mode to cursor mode. And this is where you can do certain things like reposition HUD elements, click on HUD buttons, uh, and other things that were uh, not quite showing yet. Um, so even though this was only a very, very small preview of things to come, hopefully uh, you're just as excited as us to see how things unfold.